One thing you mentioned earlier in the conversation was privacy and how you had, had taken a look at things like Zcash and Monero. Um, I, I wonder, does non-custodial lightning use accomplish a lot of the privacy preserving aspects that you liked when you looked at Zcash and Monero? Oh, I mean, certainly, at least today, from a sender's perspective, at the bare minimum, you have great privacy assurances uh, using Lightning. Now, there's some complexities when you're dealing with uh, the channels you opened up and how those are broadcast. Um, but, you know, new ways to sort of circumvent those being tracked are coming up every day, including uh, alias skids or short channel IDs that are typically broadcast uh, to identify your channel. Uh, we're adding support for those, at least with LND nodes in version 0.7. So pumped about that. Uh, but on the receiving side, generally, there's quite a bit more to do for Lightning. Uh, the issue is typically when you generate an invoice, um, it's got like your public key in it. It's like a uh, payer needs to know how to get there. Like perhaps you have like route hints or whatever, but you're providing like a final destination as to where it goes. So you could sort of like say, okay, like this is the node that I'm paying to. Uh, so we need something called blinded routes in which you can construct like a sort of blinded onion with uh, the last part of those route hints as to get to your node are sort of um, concealed from the payer. So um, there's definitely a lot of stuff that needs to be done to get us that, you know, uh, like nothing's perfect, right? But I think with a couple of enhancements here and there, Lightning can be a highly private payment system. Um, and do you expect and, that uh, that's going to be a, a separation point between custodial and non-custodial over time, that these will diverge and become like custodial may, wallets may require you to provide more and more information and non-custodial wallets may get more and more private over time? You think those two diverge? Um, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think regulations are going to have a lot of these services, this, these custodial services to AML, KYC, their customers, get information about them, but also just because of regulation, just track even more data. Like if you make a payment on a lot of Satoshi or Blue Wallet, so at least with the standard uh, setup they have, they could track pretty much everything. I don't think Moon is that much better. And, uh, you know, even uh, nodes, I mean, wallets like Breeze or Phoenix, in which most users aren't opening up their own channels or they can't in the case of Phoenix, like that LSP, that single node you're operating through um, can ascertain a lot about you if you're, if you're super dependent on them. So that's why, like, if I want to build out some LSP services with Zeus, I want to make sure that we carry over that open your own channel functionality and encourage it for users uh, so that, you know, the LSP is not just some singular source of information that you could ascertain about users. But yeah, definitely mm -hmm. that, that, that divide is going to just continue to grow over the years.